See what I'm doing here? This is the kill cord. You put this around your wrist every time. But what does it do? If, if it you don't do? know what the kill cord does, let's say I get launched from the boat. And now the motor's dead. And now motor's it's not going to kill me. That's so. good. Interesting start to the video, but welcome everybody. We're back in Manitoba, catching smallmouth. I lost one of my first casts. Tyler caught some bass and a lot of pike. So I, I don't know what, what do you, what's going to happen differently today. Oh, oh, are, are we starting it quick? That's that was, that was ridiculous timing. That was ridiculous <laughs> timing. <laughs> oh my gosh. And we're looking for a PB. I think it's a bass. Oh, oh nice one. Oh. <laughs> Come on! The barbless hook got me again. Well, that was good timing. That was almost really, really good. That's just how it goes sometimes. But you know what? We're, we're gonna kill it today. I'm feeling it. Marcel's day was yesterday. Flashback to his catch. My goodness! That is big. Holy <laughs> smokes! <laughs> big, small. Guys, Marcel. first bass of the trip. We right saw what, like a couple yards away? <laughs> just Same. pitched it a couple He's like, oh, <laughs> it's there. Oh, he okay. ate it. So let's go to a waterfall. We'll see y'all there. I have never caught a walleye on a topwater. That is crazy. And he, he chomped it too, look at that. I know for the video, you won't believe this. Yeah. You won't believe this. All right, Jay, how was that waterfall? Tell us about it. It was majestic, it was beautiful, it lacked on fish, but topwater walleyes. Tyler caught two walleyes on topwater, which is something, I don't think I've ever seen that before. So was, that was good. We're heading back to Land of the Big Bass. Yeah. And we're gonna fish some new shoreline and finish up. We got like four hours left, so we're gonna make the most of it. All right, Marcel, uh, three words of wisdom. Just three, three words of wisdom. Just three words. I got a little more than three, but Big Booty Bass. <laughs> that could be a good clothing brand. Big Booty Bass. No, never mind. Not a good idea. All right, let's wrap I'll it. I'll let let's, you wrap it. Are gonna wrap it? Yeah, we're going. We're All ready. right, we'll see you guys cool. at the fish spots, at the other areas. Yep. <laughs> if you're not subscribed to Tyler's Real Fishing, make sure you subscribe. Oh my gosh. I don't know, but he just slammed me and then trying to catch up to him. Gosh. Gosh. Chill out, fish. It's not even that big. Are you sure? Oh. He looks pretty big. I could be wrong. We got a good one. Come on, fish. Come on. Come Day on. Day two, early morning. Come on, Tyler. Don't this is your it. day. Don't do it to me. Nice bass. Not complete slacking about how to go. <gasps> Reel in and get him. He's coming up right here. Oh! Come on, come on. Man. Come on. Oh. Stop doing this to me. Not a fan. Not He's a battling fan. you. Oh, it is, it is nice size. That's a nice fish. Yes. Ooh, there we go. Woo! That's a good one. That's a good one. Heck yeah. Bring him in here. Bring him in this boat on the chatterbait. Absolute beauty. Such a cool fish. So cool. Good start to the day, my, my oh, buddy. Yeah. Such a cool start. Oh, 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 oh. That right there is what you want to see. Hey, Marcel. Hey, Tyler. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're eating shad in here. They're eating little bait fish. Shiner. Little shiner? We don't have shad in Manitoba. Okay. And but call, the equivalent. We, the equivalent. we call it all shad down south, but. Nice. Beauty. See ya. Got me all wet. <laughs> Let's go. This is absolutely Let's go. Yeah, this is an A-Rig Lake for sure. I mean, that was a perfect little Kitek sized bait fish that fish was eating. Yeah. Yeah, down south we call it all shad. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is shad down south. Yeah, I mean Hold up. Da, 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 da. It's the one and only the old double G Snoop Dogg. So a little tidbit of information for you guys at home watching this video. 
Again, if you haven't seen the last video, click over here in this corner. It'll be linked up there. But we've been throwing reaction baits here in Manitoba, Canada for some smallmouth. And there's not a whole lot of action needs to be done to this bait. Like, you know, I always like to talk about the retrieval with any sort of bait that I'm throwing. But really, it's basically just a, a straight retrieve back to the boat. Jay's been working us pretty fast in the trolling motor, so you got to keep the keep the retrieve fast. Got to keep up with me. Got to keep up with Jay. Oh, and I got some grass. But any sort of swim bait trailer on the back of this chatterbait's worked pretty well. As you saw earlier on in the video, I saw I found some little teeny bait fish. These fish are eating on. It's I mean I wouldn't say it's about the same size as the chatterbait, but it, it does imitate it fairly closely. And any anywhere from a Kitek little paddle tail thing to a grub. Basically just match the color of your chatterbait when you're throwing shad colors. And uh, you'll find success. Bring him in. Bring him in, Mr. Smalley. You are beautiful in my eyes. I don't care how big you are. And that's just the quality of fish that you catch up here. I mean, even bigger ones than this, but it's just fat, fat, beautiful smallmouth bass. Oh, oh well, see ya. I was going to admire you. Give you some compliments, young lady. You're just pecking and pecking and pecking. Gosh, that's a smolly. That's a smolly. Doubled up, doubled up, doubled up. What do we got? Mine's, we mine's decent. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my, God. yes. Oh, boy. Who's big? Nah, three and a half, I think. Three and a half big. What do we trust? Me netting it? Oh. Mine's like three, barely. Oh, boy. Come on. There's a lot going on. Well, that's a big one. Don't you jump. My first cast with the, uh, the craw. Oh, oh. Oh, scary. Smaller I'm scared fish. about trying to net this. Scary thing. moments. Smaller fish buys ice cream on the way home. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's nice a good one. Bring him in the net. Bring him in the net. Ah, you dingus. Ah, I don't want to horse him. There he is. Oh, ah. one. Woo. Let's go. Oh, you got, you got a net, you net it? No, you net it. I'm net. filming. <laughs> I, got one, I got my fish in the net. And then Marcel's. Oh, those are both good ones. Oh, oh. yes. <laughs> what a picture. What a wow. picture that's going to be. Double. Oh. Look at that. That is a bunch of big bass right there. Okay, let's bring it to the <laughs> Heck yeah, Can brother. you guys holding up together? Boom. Oh, yours is bigger than mine. Look at my, look at my belly, though. Gut on that. You guys got to hold these up. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. Manitoba double header. Let's go. That's good. That's we awesome. might be on to that. We only got a couple hours left. I think so. Look at that belly on mine. Ooh, he's a fat boy. All right, put, put him on the tape. Is that double header master anglers? I think so. I don't know if mine will get there. No, oh, mine's it's close, but just a football. Uh, mine is 18. Oh, yeah, 18. 18. Master oh, yeah. angler. Nice. Oh, yeah. 19. Almost. 18 and a 19 double header. That's, that's good. Let's boy. go, baby. <laughs> We're gonna get Coach Dylan. I bet you the bigger ones are going to be on the steeper stuff. Isn't that crazy? Just yeah. like we're on to something. Let's go. All right, here we go. Got some shots. Couple. This is crazy. Couple biggins. <laughs> Look at that. I just, I want to admire that belly. That is insane. Yeah. How heavy, how big that belly is. All right. Here we go. Double header on the release. Coming away slowly. But they're healthy. Dude, that's like a, that's an aquarium size. Jay, show that camera the big and you just caught. I could start a whole video series on that. My new pet, feeding my new pet, moving my pet to a new tank. My tank broke, oh no. Building a new pond. 400,000 subscribers later, you're Paul Carufo. Pike again, ah! I'm so good at catching pike, it's wild. I am the, the pike fisherman of our generation. Okay, let's get out of here. Not feeling this? I don't know. We, we, we'll try to point let's throw the point out. Let me tell you, I'm feeling it. Let me tell you. Oh, oh, Marcel. Oh, yes. Oh, get your, here, what camera, camera, what camera do I want? You just, uh, just, huge, net it. just net it. Just net it. Can I tell him? It's big, yeah, tell him down. It's huge. Big in. I don't know how big, but it's big. Yep, let me get the net. We got a big in. Where is the net? Here we it is. It. We're oh. about to call it a trip, Come and Monster see. Marcel is hooked up again. Could Marcel break it? Oh. 
so big. big. <laughs> so big. big. How are you feeling, Marcel? I'm pumped. Already broke oh. my PB yesterday. I don't think this one's gonna do it no, again, it's but big. it's big. But it's a big fish. Man. Dude. Jay actually, he just said, we're about to I give think up we on should this leave spot. this spot. And Tyler and I were like, uh, I don't know, this spot looks pretty good. And the next cast. Yeah. Big one. Nice. Ugh. Yep. Heavy fish, my friend. That's a, that's a chunk. Hold that there. baby up. Marcel's definitely the star of this trip. Man. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> wow, my friend. That's Day awesome. Day two, a little tougher, but we're, we're still, still cracking them. So good. So Get good. This guy back. She gone. Wow. All right. Well, everybody, that is the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. It has been a blast hanging up here in eastern Manitoba in the Nopaming Provincial Park area, catching big smallies. I did not break my PB this time, but that means I have to come back up here and uh, break it next time. But I kind of want to, as I always do, break down the gear that I was using in today's video. Now, I caught fish on all sorts of baits, whether it be chatterbait, spinnerbait, uh, or a Ned Rig or craw like this. But as I talked about in my last video with the chatterbait, I want to talk about kind of the Ned Rig shaky head uh, scenario that I was fishing today. So Marcel, one of the guys with us in the video today, was able to catch a few on a small little swim bait. But I got my biggest one today on basically a tiny little Ned Rig type craw. It's a, it's a, a what do you call a finesse shaky head? Tiny, tiny little jig head. I'd say uh, I think it's a three thirty-second ounce or eighth ounce jig head with a tiny craw as well as a green pumpkin. Most of the craws up here are literally just straight green pumpkin with maybe a little bit of blue or, or, or orange in them. So all I did is just kind of throw it on there, right down the middle, poke it out, and just like you would a Ned rig, boom, just like that, hop it along the bottom like a little crayfish would. And so that's what I caught my biggest fish on today as well. And then the spinning reel and rod that I use is a Lose uh, 3000 size spinning reel with a Lose TP1 drop shot shaky head special. Throughout the summer, I'm sure you guys heard me talk about this rod all the time. I love this thing. It is sensitive, it is light, uh, and I've caught so many big bass on this thing. And uh, I think the line on here is 15 pound braid to an eight pound fluorocarbon leader. Now I hope this kind of content isn't getting repetitive. I love bass fishing and I hope you guys like it as well. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you guys in the next episode of Tyler's Real Fishing. This is a problem. When you have... Is my hair on John B level yet? What's up guys? <laughs> What's cracking bro? You, you filming me? Uh, yeah, always. Anything else we need to tell the viewers? Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs? Nope. Uh, catch more fish. Respect your mom. It's pretty important as well. <laughs>